Hey, what's up, guys? It's just uh, your friend, Jeff, living in the Midwest of Chicago. Anyway, um, uh, first thing you're wondering is, uh, why am I wearing this hat? Well, that is an interesting question, and I'll give you the answer. The answer is, it looks nice, right? I mean, does, does it look nice? No, 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 maybe, maybe the feather, the feather doesn't look good? Oh. Anyway, uh, you know what? You know what? It's fine. If, if you don't like hat people and to all the people wearing hats saying, oh, man, that would not look good on him, I'll take it off. <laughs> Woo! Check it out. I'm letting my hair grow out. Now I know that a lot of people are saying, yeah, it's messed up. It's hairy. It's too long. It sucks. Why is it like Justin Bieber's hair? I don't know. But what I do know is that, oh, no, wait. And I bet a lot of you people are all saying, What's that red stuff on his face? Looks like he's got skin cancer, or looks like he's got some kind of new tattoo or something. Well, this is called sunburn. So all the people in Canada and Wisconsin going, what the hell is sunburn? Well, that's when the state gets really hot. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't even be talking it to you because uh, Wisconsin, Canada, and all those places up north, uh, they probably don't get hot days at all. They probably just get snow days, so they probably got frostbite all over the place. But, you know, we're getting off topic here. Mainly what I want to talk about is we've had a few movies that have come out this past few months. A few that are good, a few that are bad, and a few that we need to talk about. So, let's go over a few. Alright, first, everyone thought that Prometheus was an awesome flick. And to tell you the truth, it was. It really was. Like, uh, my friends saw it before I saw it, my friends told me it was terrible. Like, it's, they told me it had nothing to do with the series. And I watched it, and as I noticed, they were fucking wrong. They were. I mean, they obviously don't have not seen the Alien series, because it seemed to connect perfectly with the rest of the series. Like, I feel that this was the movie that, like, introduced the whole series, because if you see at the end of Prometheus, you see the Alien um, come out, and you see its actual figure, the real figure from the first 1979 Aliens flick, which then got popular into the second Aliens, which came out in 1986. But I thought it was really good. Now, there's another movie coming out, and it's called The Possession. And it's basically about this father who has these two girls, and one of the girls gets this box. And it has some sort of ancient scribings on it. And when she gets the box, when she opens it, some sort of this demon comes out and infects her. And basically the whole movie is the family trying to get rid of the demon and get their little girl back. Now what I noticed was that this movie, it, it seems like the Jewish version of The Exorcist. Like I, I see it as the Hebrew version of The Exorcist. Because you have the father going to rabbis and other um, Jewish people and asking what to do with this demon. Apparently it must be a Jewish demon. Now I've never heard of a Jewish demon before. But I'm assuming if it is a Jewish demon, then it has to follow the same rules of part two. It cannot attack the body or it cannot attack the little girl during Yom Kippur um, or Hanukkah or any other of those nights because those are big Jewish days. Anyway, um, another movie that is coming out that I'm starting to get a look is The Amazing Spider-Man. Now, I saw the all first three Spider-Man series and they were crap. They were like I, I'm. I'm not. I did never. I never read any of the Spider-Man comic books. But from what I get, those three movies had nothing to do with Spider-Man at all. Like I actually feel that this um, new Spider-Man movie is actually going to be pretty good, right? Well, <laughs> why am I saying right? I'm talking to a screen that has a bunch of molecules and little wires in it. Anyway. Last movie I'm going to um, talk about that a lot of people are going for is The Dark Knight. Now, of course, everybody is going to want to see The Dark Knight. Because after, well, it's The Dark Knight Rises, to correct myself, The Dark Knight Rises. Because you can't have um, The Dark Knight because you got to have Keith Ledger and he died because he took too many of them. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, so, to me, I'm not sure if I'm going to see The Dark Knight Rises. It's not that I don't have anything against the writers or the people who directed it. Like, I'm sad, too, that Keith Ledger died. But one of the reasons why is because it seems like The Dark Knight Rises is trying to be as good as The Dark Knight. Now, nothing can be as good as The Dark Knight. 
Because Christian Bale did an excellent job. Keith Ledger did an amazing job as the Joker. Um, that guy who played um, Harvey, who was also in Thank You for Smoking, he did an amazing job as well. I just personally think that it'll be good. It just won't be great. Right? You, you see what I'm saying here? Like, Batman Begins, great movie. Perfect movie. Dark Knight Rises, beyond perfect. And then there's the Dark Knight Rises, which is like, ah, okay, it's going up, it's going up, and then it just stops at a certain point and be like, oh. But, hey, that's why they call it opinion. So, uh, I gotta get going, because, uh, I gotta walk my dog. Well, actually, it's not really my dog. I just found it on the street, so I just put a leash on it and then gave it home, and I gave it a bunch of chocolate, and it started wheezing, so I kind of thought, you know, that's how the dog means that it wants to go out. So, I'll see you guys later. Except for you. You're going to be gone for a long time. Okay, bye.